Hey, good morning. It's about 5.45 and I am heading to the MRT station at Queen Circuit Convention. I'm going to head out and uh, do a little exploring this morning. So follow along. Nice and cool, but it will warm up. That is the Queen Circuit Convention Center, which is on the corner of Benja Kitty Park. If you go off to the right here on uh, Ratapisic, you'll hit Terminal 21 and the Sukhumvit MRT station. But I'm going just to the left here to the Queen Circuit MRT stop, and we're going to hand down to Bangwa, the junction of the BTS dark green line. I believe that's the end of the dark green line as of 2024. You got to forgive me. It's still early. I'm a night person, but when I, the rare times I fall asleep at uh, 10 or 11 o'clock at night, which happened yesterday, I pop out of bed early and I'm sure I'll be asleep during the heat of the day later. So that's fine with me. Let's get out and look around. I think I said I'm going to Bangwa. If I mistakenly said uh, Bang Na, Bangwa this morning. And that is Med Park Hospital. I've never been in there. I've, I've heard from, from other guys it's a fine facility. So we are going to start here at the Queen Convention Center. And I sure hope it's open. I think, uh, well, I'm sure it is by now. It's uh, one minute till six. I think it opens at 5.30. It could be five in the morning. But you'll have to do your research on that. I am not a five in the morning expert. I'm gonna grab a ticket and we'll time it from here out to, and please forgive me if I mix up my Bang Na and my Bang Wa. We're heading out to Bang W-A Wa. So let's time it from the quote unquote center of Bangkok out towards that area. If you're planning on making that commute or just interested in the time. And I just asked the uh, person I bought the ticket from, it was 43 baht and the first train was at 555. So it's a good thing uh, I didn't roll out of bed any earlier. And I'm not positive. Maybe it's the BTS. The first train is at 5.30. Again, you'll have to do your research if uh, you're running on trains at 5.30 in the morning. And I'm going to take my time. I'm not sure if this is my train or not. I think that is the train heading out towards uh, Techabury. I believe that's my train. Yes, the Lexong Terminal. So... We'll wait for the next train. It is 6.03. We'll see how long it takes in between trains. And then we'll time it from here out towards uh, Bangwa. And if you were coming in the other direction, the terminal or junction to change to the light green line would re be right at the next station, Sukhumvit. You can then get on the light green line and hit Prampong, Ekamai, all those kinds of places. This train, also, uh, there's a junction at Silom. So I believe we're going to go through Silom. You can then walk over to the Saladang BTS station. So there's some good junctions around town, but this train pretty much heads out towards uh, Bangwa. And that's the end of the line for the dark green line as of 2024 anyhow. I might have already mentioned that, but I might have already mentioned I'm half asleep right now. And according to the map, we have 12 train stops to Bangwa. And this is also the train you'd want to take from here or even Sukhumvit to get out to Wat Man Kong. You'll be in the heart of Chinatown. And I'm going to guess at uh, 6.05, the trains are going to run a little less frequent than they will at uh, 8 or 8.30 in the morning. The one thing with the MRTs, maybe it's, uh, I don't write them that often, and maybe it's just in my head. They seem to come a little less frequent than the BTS trains. Again, they know what they're doing, and they time those trains for traffic. But up on the light green line running down Sukhumvit, it seems like a train comes every three minutes maybe four minutes and here's where we're going we're taking off at the convention center Wat Man Kong that's the heart of Chinatown we're crossing the uh, Chow Pryor River heading over towards the Tombury side 
Bangwa right there is where we're heading today. You can see there are one, two, three, four, four or five more train stations to the end of the line. And if you're unfamiliar, the MRT is more a subway style system, mostly underground. There is a new yellow line that's a monorail above ground. But basically, BTS is above ground, MRT is underground. And here comes the train, 610. So that was about a seven minute wait. And even at 610, the train is uh, halfway full. And as you can see, the train is super clean. It's very safe. All the announcements are in Thai and English. And this is the first time we've uh, came above ground. It's kind of cool to see. And here we are, Bangwa Station. It was a 23 minute ride. And as I was saying that uh, most of the MRT is underground, since we switched over to this side of uh, the river, it's above ground. Now there, I, ass I assume that is the BTS pulling into Bangwa Station. There's a junction between the two. So as of 2024, Bangwa is the end of the line on the, they just call it the green line. The line running up and down Sukhumvit is the light green line. So let's uh, take a look around this junction and then uh, go from there. It's about 6.34 in the morning. And I just looked up the temperature real quick. It's 84 degrees, but it sure feels 60 degrees. I know uh, I know it's not that cool, but if it's not feeling like 100 degrees, it feels cool to me. You can see there are plenty of uh, condo options at this junction. And just getting our boundaries off in that direction will be the Chow Pryor River. And kind of on the other side of these buildings will be Icom Siam, that side of the Chow Pryor River. I know those aren't the best of directions, but that's the best I can do. And once again, everything's clearly marked in Thai and English. It says take exit three or four to the BTS Bangwa station. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm a BTS guy, so I'm going to uh, see what's around. My eyesight isn't that good. I, I recognize the uh, the writing on that building. Is it the president or the diplomat? I don't know. We'll walk over there, but it's familiar to the writing on a, a set of condos up by Sukhumvit Soy 81. And I'm assuming that's the Bangwa BTS station. And then just past the station is a maintenance shed. So it's within feet. The MRT and BTS as opposed to Silom. It's, it's quite a walk in between Silom MRT and Saladang BTS. It's like uh, exiting here and your next station is uh, where that train is waiting. And I was correct, it's the president. Huge condo complex, three or four large towers, feet from the BTS or MRT station. I'm gonna go ahead and walk in the direction of uh, the BTS tracks, see what other condo options we have near the trains. Here's another resident tower, number three, or president, I'm sorry. Still a little early. And the number two building has a 7-Eleven built in. Yeah, this is definitely the first place I would look for a condo if I wanted to live in this area. And I'm feeling a couple of sprinkles. I'm not complaining. It doesn't look like uh, a rainstorm's in my future, but a couple of sprinkles are a welcome addition. Now, it looks like the road's heading back under the... This is a highway. Uh, so maybe I'll follow it, follow it over there and see if I can get over to this building. And we got a nice clong here. We are pretty close to the river. I see a water taxi tied up, but uh, I'm not sure. This, this looks like a water taxi pier. I have no idea about the water taxi up here. It says Supale across the way, so I don't know if that's the name of the uh, the water taxi pier or if this is even active. I assume it is. Maybe we'll wait here for five minutes and, and see if a water taxi pulls up. I don't see anybody waiting on either side. Well, clearly says it's the Bangwa Pier, but I would expect some customers. 
So maybe it starts at uh, a little later, like 7 a.m. I'm not sure, but that right there is the traditional water taxi. And we're gonna go up these stairs. There appears to be a, a nice covered walkway that goes down to the Bangwa MRT Junction. Yeah, it looks like it goes all the way to uh, that other condo building. So we're gonna check that out. But I'm gonna head over this little bridge just to take a peek at this Thai neighborhood. Nice little walkway, similar to the sidewalk on the side of the uh, Klong up in, say, the Nana area where the water taxis run. It's a beautiful walkway. I mean, it's, uh, well, it's not that far. That's the MRT station right there, and the BTS is attached. Looks like a couple of pilots. And let's head off in this direction, and it says, oh, what is that, Turtai Road? but it looks like it heads right to that other large condo. And getting our uh, boundaries, that's the MRT. And there are a couple of large buildings over here. Three of them within a 10 minute, well, that one is within a two minute walk. And that one's maybe five minutes away. The other one's a, a little bit further down the line, but you can see plenty of condo options. And I'm just running parallel with the BTS track, so there's no way I'll get lost. I thought these guys uh, were pilots. Now they're security guards. There's looking off into uh, just a little Thai traditional neighborhood. City's coming awake. And under the highway, they're using that little highway as a rain guard. A couple of volleyball or pickleball courts. And another little neighborhood. This is actually a beautiful, uh, call it a skywalk. Keep you out of the rain, keep you out of the sun. Rain, more importantly. They can just drop buckets in uh, 10 minutes. You can see a little traffic there heading into the city. Getting ready to start the business day. And way off in the distance, I see a huge golden Buddha. There's also some low-rise buildings in the area. I see the beat just a couple of hundred feet ahead. And there goes the BTS pulling into Bangwa Station. And we've made it up to an Aspire property. It uh, appears to be over 30 stories tall. And I see a sign on the highway this way to the Taxon Bridge. So I know where that's at. I, I thought it was down the ways a little more, but when you go over Taxon, you're at the Sapan Taxon BTS station. That's where you can jump on the hop off, hop boat, hop on, hop off, sorry, uh, tourist boat going up and down the Chapri River. It's, it's nice and cheap. I want to say 150 baht. Now it's the Aspire Satorn Rajapruk. Less than a 10 minute walk to the BTS. Maybe six minutes. Those are the president buildings. And I am right under the BTS track, so I'm gonna continue and uh, just go off in, in the other direction. There was one large road at the base of uh, Bangwa, which I'm assuming is uh, Ratchapruik, but I'm already heading off in this direction. So let's keep walking and see how far it is to the next BTS station. And I'll almost bet money with that next uh, large condo building is, is Wudakot BTS station. Oh, I did miss the Superlight building, another high rise. You do have to get across that Klong, but I'm sure there's a little bridge and then you're right at the President's building. Hey, a little change of plans. It looks like there's a couple of highway junctions straight ahead. I'm sure I can make my way under the tracks and off in that direction, but instead, I'm just gonna take the train up there and I'm gonna do a little more exploring right around Bangwa. So let's go take a look at uh, that street where I saw the low rise, the beat building. Again, straight ahead where you see the rain cover, that is the junction of the two trains. 
It just seems like a long walk to the next train and there didn't appear to be much in between. So I'm going to explore this Bangwa area, maybe even uh, on the other side where the uh, trains were pulling into the maintenance yard. I'm sure there's some dining options and, and different things on that larger road. So there's the BTS tracks heading into the station. The uh, rain covered walkway, Skywalk is to the left. We're gonna head off into this little neighborhood. I see at least one low rise building. It'd be a very close walk to the BTS station. Let's, let's see what's back here. I'm sure it's uh, some affordable living. I know a lot of people like to head off in the other direction towards Bering and and points beyond, but consider the other side of the river as well. There's a nice 7-Eleven. Here's the side of that uh, spire building. In fact, uh, well, I'm assuming we're in, in Bangwa, but I know Tonbury is, is very close. It's like where I come Siam is. That is supposed to be the hip new Brooklyn of Bangkok coffee shops and art and all kinds of things going on over there. There's some little stores and some old school buildings. And I have no idea where I'm at, but there's the street sign. I'll probably be careful walking down here. I'm sure those are mellow dogs, but uh, four dogs in a little small alley. Yeah, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't press my luck. They're, uh, they're protecting the area. Yes, he's giving me a little bark, telling me to walk along. But they're not crazy soy dogs. They're just uh, neighborhood dogs. And I don't belong in the neighborhood, fair enough. So there's that beat building. And like many of these condos, they have a little tuk-tuk. It's gonna fill up this time in the morning, but it'll run you over to the BTS if you don't wanna make the, uh, whatever it is, six minute walk. Looks like a nice building. Hey, so I'm cheating a little bit. I got a lot of walking ahead of me. So 10 bot, I'm zipping back uh, to the BHS. I was kind of hoping I got a ride all the way back to the BTS, but he dropped me here at the uh, walkway near the water taxi. Fair enough. I do see off in the distance Siam University. And there's some animals grazing just uh, 25 minutes from central Bangkok. It gets a little quieter. I think this Pekasam Road is the uh, large road I saw right underneath the uh, train junction. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and take a left and see what that other building is, just uh, less than a five minute walk from the train. And this must be that Pekasam Road. The MRT continues on down the line, another four or five stops in that direction. And this right here is the end of the line for the BTS. So you can see the columns for the MRT heading off in the direction of the Chow Phraya River. It's a little bit confusing because uh, most people, including myself, just think of the MRT as totally underground, but not over here on this side of the river. And this is heading up to the MRT and that, that building I'm interested in is just ahead, three or 400 feet on the left. And on both sides of this road, it's just covered in street food and little coffee shops. I see dental clinics, the 7-Eleven. On the other side of the street is a Cafe Amazon. And again, these are the MRT above ground tracks, heading off for another four or five stations. And they seem to be using uh, bot buses up here. Probably not as much traffic for full-size city bus. And here's that building, Supale Park, maybe a five minute walk from the MRT and BTS. It kind of reminds me of my building, maybe 20 years old, but uh, my building is also 52 square meter for the price of many 32 square meter. Yeah, I like this building. It has a little uh, character compared to some of the other just more cracker box type buildings. Has a laundry service down below. 
I see a bookstore. And off in the distance, those are the two towers of the Presidents. So the BTS is just off to the left. It is 7.20 a.m. and the temperature has easily gone up 10 or 15 degrees. But what the heck, I'm going to walk down to that next building, which would be less than a 10-minute walk from Bangwa. Who knows when the next time I'll be out here. Things are a little quiet in all these businesses. This is a, what is that, a motorbike repair shop. But that's uh, kind of par for the course in Bangkok. Oftentimes people will head to work at 9 or 10 a.m. and stay till 6, 7, 8 p.m. Some of these private businesses will stay open well into the evening. It's not unusual to see a motorbike repair place open at uh, 10 or 11 o'clock. Guys just kicking back watching TV, but if you want to pull in and get a quick oil change, he'll be happy to make a buck. And there's another shot of the Siam University campus. And many of these little mom and pop stores will have plenty of 20 and 30 baht grab and go options. Especially in the morning. Here's a, I'm walking by a beauty salon. They have a little coffee cart out front. There's definitely uh, less hustle and bustle up here compared to where I live in the Prom Pong and the Sok area. Yet, there's uh, plenty of businesses and, and things going on. Oh, there's people up here compared to, say, Bering. Yeah, it's much busier and there's traffic. Everybody's heading into, into work. So it's not totally super mellow but it, it's nowhere near as busy as central Bangkok all right we made our way up to that other building the Chua Thai Pekasam 27 it's like a really nice building a Lawson drugstore and a barber shop right down below it also has a walkway to get you to the other side of the street and that Siam University is directly on the other side of that walkway I'm wondering how far I am to the next station. I think I'm gonna just keep walking. No sense in uh, making a U-turn. I've already seen that area. But I'm gonna guess my next station is up where that uh, darkish blue, or is it, yeah, darkish blue, I'm a little colorblind. It says it's a base. I'm gonna guess that's where my next uh, train stop is. Here's a large outdoor night food market. And we're getting closer to that base. Well, it's still a couple, two, three blocks away, but there hasn't been a whole lot in between. Just some some local Thai areas, plenty of food. There is something called the Jazz straight ahead. I'm pretty familiar with most of the music spots around town, even 10 miles away. I don't know if I've heard of the Jazz. I'm, a, I'm assuming it's a club, but we'll find out. Hey, so there you go. I almost didn't walk down here. It's getting kind of hot. I think I was thinking about heading on down the line and maybe starting another video but I found a new music spot, the Jazz. Maybe I have heard of it, the Jazz Bangwa. It's quite a ways from where I live, but I'm definitely gonna come check it out. Saxophone, Alone Together, Buddha and Pals, they're in my rotation. But here's a new spot, the Jazz. Not far from the Bangwa Junction. I would probably jump on a motorbike if I were Wearing jeans and uh, didn't feel like showing up all sweaty. Or taking a taxi over here. You need to pick your spots. I'm all about these trains. They're a great way to get around town and avoid the traffic. But uh, sometimes jumping in a $5 U.S. cab is the way to go. And I'm assuming that's some kind of industrial sewing machine. Here's the service center. I don't know anything about industrial sewing. I just know those Juki machines, J-U-K-I. I'm assuming that's Japanese. I see them, uh, maybe it's not, I don't know. I see them all over town. I've seen them all over the United States, especially in the uh, sailing community. It takes a pretty heavy duty machine to sail through, or sew through those sails. And we're coming up to that base. You'll find these uh, base buildings all over town. 
I lived on Sukhumvit Soy 77 and on Newt, and there was one right across the street from me. But I am hoping that this base is uh, near the next train stop because I've been walking a good 20 minutes. A nice air-conditioned train. Sounds pretty good about now. Is that a centipede? And Pekka Sam 29, if you're playing along on Google Maps. Just a very mellow little area. I mean, this street is no joke, but there are plenty of nice walkways to get you across. Yeah, that uh, jazz club, it's just kind of in the middle of nowhere, but maybe that was the point. It's a nice sized building and came at affordable rent. Well, I'm sure the rent is still high. Anything in Bangkok is going to be high, but it's uh, cheaper than Soy 11. That's just out of control. My buddy uh, opened a bar. The old Apoteca is now the Golden Giraffe, kind of midway down. Soy 11, before you make the turn to Havana Social Club. And uh, yeah, we've had a couple of uh, six beer talks, hanging out about the expenses of doing business on Soy 11. And we've arrived at the base maybe a hundred feet from the next MRT station and there's the La La Move guy I, I love that app put that app on your phone if you want to move from one condo or another or you're buying a mattress a bed yeah just order up a La La Move vehicle you put in your distances they quote you a price you can pay the extra whatever it is a 50 baht and he will help you carry it up to your condo but here's the base and right there where you see the rain shade is the uh, MRT station. Let me get the name here. I think it's I think it's Pekka's M MRT station, I think. Mentioned it a couple of times when I moved from Manu to Prom Pong. I was uh, not really sweating it, but uh, I've accumulated a bunch of junk. If it's ironing boards and lamps and uh, irons and vacuum cleaners. And this is my home. I'm not living out of a... I'm not living out of a suitcase, but I, I'm a minimalist, but still... I like to vacuum my rug once in a while. That's the other thing. I have a couple of rugs. So I was a little worried about moving from one condo to the other without uh, hitting up my buddies and three taxis. Yeah, uh, somebody told me, just use that Lala move. I, I basically got all my stuff packed up, took a picture of it, and said I need to move it from the 26th floor here to the 27th floor here. And the guy quoted me some ridiculously low price, uh, 350 baht or something like that. And that was to help me move it from upstairs down to the vehicle to the new building and then upstairs into the new condo. I, I paid a premium for the moving service. I gladly gave that guy whatever it was, six or 700 baht. I mean, we knocked it out in an hour, hour and a half. Well worth the money. And across from the base, almost hooked to the Pekasam MRT station is the key building. And another beautiful condo just feet from the MRT. I'll get the name when I get up top. And it looks like the name is the Bangkok Horizon. Feet, 10 feet from the MRT Pakistan. So thank you so much for following along this early morning look at uh, Bang Wah. I appreciate you watching, leaving comments, thumbs up. That really helps me. And consider subscribing if uh, more looks around Bangkok are of interest to you. You have a great morning.